He's like, oh, that's my job. Let me worry about that. No, I never said this wasn't your job. Nor did I expect for this to be my job. Are you stupid? Are you literally so stupid? Did you not hear her say, priorities, priorities, and these bills and stuff are always going to be my priority. If you have all these bills, you're not really living your best life because you owe all these people. That's not cute. So we're not trying to do that. So... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on my Insta stories, I was kind of giving a rundown of what I plan to do today. I think I want to um, bleach my hair today. I want to dye my hair today. I think I want to dye it black. I don't really know yet. Yesterday I was looking at, uh, I was watching a video of this girl and her hair was black, natural, straightened, and it looked so healthy. And I remember when I had dyed my hair black, I'm just like, wow, it looks so much healthier. And when it's colored, and at this point, I've had my hair colored for almost eight months. And so I feel like it wouldn't be bad if at this point I decided that I'm going to color it back black. Even though we're like going into the summer. It's okay, I guess. But um, I feel like I want to do that, do that. I'm not really sure yet. I kind of have to wash my hair today anyways. But I'm not really sure yet because it'd be hot so we're gonna see how that goes but I wanted to start the day off by working out first before I did anything else some other days I would um get up make breakfast and then later on in the day I'd work out I want to try something different and see if I work out first how that would work out for me so we will see how that goes I think I'm gonna do it in the passage this time as opposed to out here in the living room I don't know why. I'm going to be doing a full body workout today because I've been doing abs and I feel like it's important that I do something else as well. So I'm going to try and see how much of a full body workout I can actually get done. And we will see how that goes. It says no jumping because obviously when you live in apartments, you have to consider the people who live beneath you. So um, we're going to have to see how that one works out. I also had planned that today I wanted to go on an outdoor walk because the weather is supposed to be nice today and when I go outside I would have gone and like gotten my tools done but I don't really know girl because I also plan that today I'm gonna pay off all the little bills that I have so like $300 that's on my credit card and oh that's pretty much it so yeah so maybe I'll do that and then leave the tools for next week because priorities priorities and these bills and stuff are always going to be my priorities. My nails are fine. I'm not going anywhere. And wherever I'm going right now, I will wear shoes or I'll polish my nails myself for like a day or two. Like it's not that serious. It's going to be fine. But these bills are a priority. And it's not cute, but it's the priority. Because what I will not do is I will not be caught dead slipping in these streets with a mountain of bills seeing I'm outside living my best life. Sweetie. If you have all these bills, you're not really living your best life because you owe all these people. That's not cute. So we're not trying to do that. So I want to see if I can go in and like just clear all of those off. And um, yeah, I think I just paid. How much did I pay? So I have to calculate the rest that's left. Because I just paid some money on my credit card, but I need to calculate the rest that's, left, rest that's left on there. And just paid off. And I also need to... There's this one account that I have, right? I have two savings account. There's one that I will go in and out of when I'm ready. And then there's this other one that I don't like to touch for nothing at all. And um, with savings account, there's only so many transactions you could do per month. And I think I'm at like five now. So when I go in and pay, or at least with my bank. So when I go in and pay this credit card, I'm not going to be able to take any out of it for now. Which is perfectly fine too because I'm not going to need to. But um, yeah, I just need to figure it out today. But I want to work out. And me sitting here vlogging is me literally procrastinating because I just did some jumping jacks in the hallway. Just to see if like I was going to use the hallway to do the workouts. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is rough. You know, I wish, I mean there is a backyard but I don't think I'd feel comfortable going down there working out. So um, 
it's gonna have to be inside of this apartment and then maybe right after this i will go on like a little outdoor walk or whatever definitely not gonna be going to yeah i think i'll do that let me see what the temperature is outside right now because that would probably be nice i'm scrolling through instagram and a girl just bought a car and i think it's so exciting oh 63 degrees outside maybe i'll wait until like 12 1 o'clock to go for this walk because it's gonna be so oh. don't want to do that girl i don't know guys I'll, I'll figure it out as the day progresses but right now i need to actually start this workout to actually do it also gosh i'm the only person i know that would say i'm leaving and then start an entire other story well, I said I'm leaving. So, <clears throat> one of my really close friends, Jessie, she um, is not feeling too good today. I'm telling y'all about these jobs, okay? These little jobs don't be caring about people. And it, and it might just be the little jobs that we're doing, right? It's my retail job. She um, texted me a couple of days ago, maybe two days ago, or maybe it was yesterday. I think it may have been two days ago. And... Her eye was swollen because she, you know, she has allergies. You know, the people who have allergies, they really struggle this time of the year. And she was saying that her eyes were swollen. And I'm like, bro, that is terrible. Like, it looks bad, you know. And she's saying, yeah, I think I'm going to call up from work because for the week, she was working either three or four days and she was going to call out for those amount of days because of how her eye looks. And I'm like, yeah, I would call out too because there's no point in going up to work like that. It was so bad to the point where she looked like she had pink eye times three. Terrible. Maybe times two. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. And she texted me and told him that she couldn't come for the week. And I don't know how it went. She just told me that she texted him. And he's going to call her today. Two days later. Asking if she's coming for her shift today. Are you stupid? Are you literally so stupid? Did you not hear her say? And I'm saying to her. The other day I was saying to like. A few other of them who work there one that man is a liar so I was saying it to him knowing that he would never send them a picture of whatever is happening to him like his knee was swollen his knee was not really swollen he just wanted to not come to work and I was saying sometimes you got to show them a picture because one of the other girls she was sick her neck she had an allergic reaction to and her neck and her face was swollen or something like that I can't remember because I wasn't even there and I said to her, instead of coming all the way out here, since you wanted to show him that bad, instead of coming all the way out here, you should have just sent him a picture and said, listen, my neck is messed up and I can't come to work because they don't believe nobody. Me, on the other hand, when I'm calling out, I'm just calling out. I'm sick, I can't come. My head is hurting, I can't come. I'm stuck at my other job, I can't come. I just cannot come. I'm not worrying myself about finding proof to show you because one, y'all don't care about nobody. Remember distinctly when i told him that i was going to the dentist and i was going for an extraction and the man said what time i'm gonna be done sir all the lidocaine that they're gonna be injecting in my mouth i'm gonna still have that in me when i'm done i'm not coming and it's not a joke are you stupid like i get that you're the manager and you want to keep workflow go hire new people so you can balance things out this week I gave him my schedule for two afternoons, 2, 3.30, and he gave me one only, which is Friday, which is perfectly fine by me, because Monday when I was at work, I felt really, really tired, so I didn't even feel like I wanted to go anyways, but had I been on there, I still would have gone. So I'm already planning for him to call me, and for me to tell him, nah, I can't come, because last week him and I had like a little blowout, and he was mad, so he's like spiting me. With the one day that he didn't give me, which was Monday. And the blowout was specifically because um, I had a customer at the register and I rung her up. And the item, the price on the item versus the price that the item scanned for was different. I didn't look at the price that was on the item. I just scanned it because that is how you ring it up. These are not items that you put the price in manually. Some you do, but that was not one. That was one that you scanned. And so the lady was like, how did I come up to so much money? Because obviously she looked at the price that was on there. No, he's like, Castro, I gave her her chain. She left and she came back and she was like, I know that I wasn't crazy when she said that. I'm like, what the actual, like, I said, nobody said you were crazy, but what's the issue? And she was just like, yeah, so the price that it was scanned for is not the price that's on there. We don't give cash back. So naturally in a situation like that, you call the manager. It is something that I know how to do, but I'm not going to argue with y'all later. So I called him. So I called him and he came and he fixed it. He was there struggling a little bit too when he was fixing it. So I did it on the computer and told him, you know, press complete and give the lady the money. 
and so he did that and then um he he i said to him why don't you change the price in the system like now that you're standing here because you can only change the prices underneath a manager's login um and the man just walked away and i'm just like first of all that is so rude you will not disrespect me like that especially with customers in the line looking at me like i'm crazy I waited until I catch the customers and then I went over there and I said to him like did you not hear me asking that you change the price in the system he's like oh that's my job let me worry about that and I never said this wasn't your job nor did I expect for this to be my job I'm just saying if you could change it right now what if another customer is in the line wanting to catch the very same item that you just walked away from I said it's not even about it being your job it's just it was very disrespectful I said I get that you're under pressure right now but I don't feel like it's okay for you to be taking out your stress on me like don't do that that is not cute says y'all don't know how to treat people and that's never okay and he don't like that and one thing about me i'm not gonna go back and forth with you and i'm not gonna disrespect you but i'm not gonna let you disrespect me either like i'm gonna call you out are you dumb you're not gonna sit up here and disrespect me in this line of people and and i always tell the rest of the girls that work there too i said listen do not let these grown ass men talk to you any type of way and if they're disrespectful towards you obviously you need to call them out but do it in a respectful way because you still need a job you know what i mean but you have to call them out because when you let things like this slide they will feel like this is something that they could always do to you and one thing i know for sure you're not gonna sit up here and disrespect me no i will get up and leave conversations that you're being disrespectful towards me and, and i don't care you're gonna speak to me in a good tone like what the hell anyways i'm gonna see if i can get this to work out and, and see how the rest of the day progresses